morning all all right so we are going to start today with a career video and in looking around to make sure I, I i didn't do this career video already i want to discuss thomas Vokun, a, a goaltender who retired not that long before the channel got started uh there are definitely i think a number of careers that ended not too long before the channel got started that it, yeah if i'd had one i would have done a career video this one included Vokun's a number 226 pick of the montreal canadians back in 1994. now in 1994 they have patrick waugh uh they also i believe in 94 i think they still had rassico was it still rassico as the backup anyways that rassico was seen as you know he's a young goaltender he might get better and then of course montreal always had a lot of depth in net uh the montreal canadians uh they they've had some star goaltenders in their time and vokun there really wasn't room for him so he gets into one game uh 96 97 doesn't get in the, he's in he's in relief he doesn't get a a decision Ends up with a 714 save percentage in that one game. There was some hype about him as a prospect, but he's left unprotect unprotected in the expansion draft. And on June 26th of 1998, he is taken in the expansion draft by the Nashville Predators, who clearly did their homework when it came to their scouting. Uh, that first year with Nashville, 98-99, plays 37 games, a record of 12-18-4 with a 908 save percentage. So, not bad. Back up for, I believe it was Dunham that first year. Then 99-2000, plays 33 games. 9-20-1 record, 9-04 save percentage. Now, since Nashville's an expansion team, the win-loss record's pretty rough, but the save percentage being above 900 on this team is something. Uh, one thing Nashville has usually had throughout their history is good goaltending and solid defense. Uh, then in 2000-2001, uh, 37 games. His record's 13-17-5, and 9-10 save percentage. Uh, the 2001-2002 season, he actually played a little bit less that year. Plays 29 games, has a record of 5-14-4 and four with a 9-0-3 save percentage. So, he has settled in nicely as the backup, right? But after four years as the backup in Nashville, he becomes the starter. So 2002-2003 in his first season as a starter, he plays 69 games, which is third in the National Hockey League. So he goes from playing 29 one year to playing 69 the next year. Uh, 25 wins, 31 regulation losses, which is third overall in the NHL. Uh, 11 ties slash overtime shootout losses, which is first in the NHL, but that save percentage, 918. So it is your standard good goaltender behind a team that's not a playoff team. And and then that comment can always be made about goaltenders who are below that playoff line at the end of the year who had a pretty good year, but they don't get the consideration for the Vezina because, you know, didn't make didn't win enough games, their team wasn't in the playoffs. So 2003-2004 plays 73 games, which is second. So now they're really working them. Uh, 34 wins, which is third, 29 regulation losses, which is eighth, and then 10 uh, ties, overtime shootout losses, which is sixth overall in the NHL. His save percentage is 909. Now, he makes his playoff debut because Nashville's finally in the playoffs. Six games, a 2-4 and four record with a 939 save percentage. That's how you make a playoff debut is with a save percentage of almost 940. And he finished eighth in the Vezina, and he went to the All-Star game. So... That is the season that Thomas Vokun officially breaks out and becomes a starting goaltender. Uh, really excellent numbers. And of course, then we lose the 0405 season due to the lockout. Uh, 0506, 61 games played, eighth overall in the NHL in that category, 36 wins, which was sixth in the NHL that year, 18 regulation losses and seven losses in overtime or shootouts, which is eighth overall. His 919 save percentage that year was fifth in the National Hockey League, and he finished fourth in Vezina voting. So that is his, that is the best year that he's had, and it would honestly be one of the best seasons that he had in his career. Um, and, and I say one of because there are a couple years here in Florida that could be argued to be better, but it, it, it there is always the argument, too, of certain teams seem to get overlooked when it comes to to guys having a award award level seasons. Nashville might have been one of those teams at the time. 06 07, he plays 44 games, a record of 27, 12, and 4. Uh, 920 save percentage, which is fifth in the playoffs. Five games played, a record of 1 and 4, 902 save percentage. But Nashville, they decide to trade him out. It's all right. Nashville's goaltending is going to be just fine going forward. 
Uh, June 22nd, he was traded for a second round pick in 2007, which became Spaling. Uh, a 2008 first, which was then traded to the Islanders, which became uh, Josh Bailey. And a second round pick, which was used on Aaron Ness. So, uh, he is now a member of the Florida Panthers. And Florida, really, they they see him as being like the savior of the net for them. Now, what's interesting is Florida is a team with a really rich history when it comes to their goaltending, too. They have had some very good goaltenders in their history. And that first year in Florida, he does his job. He plays 69 games, which is 7th overall in the NHL, has 30 wins, 29 regulation losses, which is 1st, and 8 overtime or shootout losses, which is 6th. But his save percentage is 919, and he plays in his second career All-Star game. So if they're not a playoff team in Florida... The hope was that you add Vokun and Net, things, you know, they end up in the playoffs. It just doesn't happen. Uh, but it's not on Vokun. The following season, 59 games played, a record of 26, 23, and 6. The 23 regulation losses is ninth overall in the NHL. 926 safe percentage, which is second in the National Hockey League. And he's ninth in the Vezina voting. And this is one of those occasions where you look at that safe percentage of 926, you look at the Vezina voting that puts him at ninth, and you think, Something doesn't seem right here. I remember thinking that at the time that Vokun wasn't necessarily getting, I thought, the respect that he should have. And again, he plays in Florida. They're a team that don't make the playoffs. They're a team that doesn't get a lot of attention. That may very well have been part of the problem. 2009-2010 plays 63 games, 23 wins, 28 regulation losses, which is first. Uh, 11 overtime or shootout losses, which is also first. But his save percentage is 925. And this is why I use save percentage. He's third in the National Hockey League in save percentage. So if you look at the win-loss record, you'd say, well, he wasn't very good that year, right? And and a goals against average can lie to you as well because a goals against average can be a measure of, you know, how well they did under barrage, under attack. So I look at save percentage as being a more accurate number, and in this case, it was 925. Played very well. 2010-2011, his final year in in Florida, 57 games, 22 wins, 28 regulation losses, which was second overall. Five overtime or shootout losses. His 922 safe percentage was ninth. But he's getting older, right? So he goes to the free agent market, and on July 2nd of 2011, he signs as a free agent with the Washington Capitals. Uh, the Washington Capitals likely having got a really good close-up look at how he's doing in Florida and thinking maybe some of that magic will translate here. Uh, it, it's... It's a mixed bag with Washington at this time, of course. You get regular season success, postseason, not so much. Uh, but he plays 48 regular season games, has a record of 25-17-2 and two with a 9-17 save percentage. Plays well, but they trade him. Uh, on June 4th of that year, they trade him to the Pittsburgh Penguins. So they trade him to the Penguins for a 2012 seventh round pick. So final year of his contract... Uh, he is getting older, and so that's probably part of it as well for the Capitals. For the Penguins in 2012-2013, he plays 20 games, has a record of 13-4. and four. So his record was very good in Pittsburgh. 919 save percentage, and then in the playoffs he plays 11 games, has a record of 6-5. and five. So it's the one time in his career he does get out of the first round of the playoffs. And a save percentage in those playoffs of 928. So that's that's a pretty good number right there. Uh, so he ends up retiring, played 700 games in his career, which is 30th overall among goaltenders. 306 wins, which is 39th amongst goaltenders. 288 losses in regulation, which is 21st. 78 ties, overtime losses, shootout losses. His 917 save percentage is 15th on the all-time list. Now, that is a list that's going to be skewed by the, the era that you're in. But still, that's an impressive number. Played 22 games in the playoffs in his career, 9-13 nine, nine and record, but a 9.28 save percentage on average. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good career and solid goaltender who may not have gotten the Vesna consideration he should have, maybe could have in other locations. Still, excellent career, and there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.